It's a beautiful day in London. We're here to look at the tomb of Elizabeth Boleyn, formerly Howard, which is here in the Howard Chapel. That is Lambeth Palace there, the entrance to it. And here is St Mary's, now the Garden Museum. The tower is the oldest part of the church because the main body of it was rebuilt in Victorian times. But it's no longer a church, it's now the Garden Museum. And I'm a member, so let's go inside and have a look. A few years ago, they put in this brand new exhibition space made out of wood that sits inside the church that can be removed if needed and it's just fantastic to walk around here. In this display box is a picture of Rosemary Nicholson who basically stopped the church from being demolished and turned it into the Garden Museum or the Museum of Garden History as it was known then. And years ago I wrote to her about the tombs here. There is so much to see, but we're just here today to look at one specific thing. And we're gonna view it from up here. That there is the rebuilt Howard Chapel. And we can see it's now the gift shop. Now, when the church was rebuilt, they kept the chapels in the same location and size. So this is how big the former Howard Chapel was. I'm standing at the edge of it here, under an arch. All these grave slabs have been placed here in the last few years when they did up the museum. But you can see from the size that you can only probably have about three grave slabs down the chapel and probably across only about four. But the one we're interested in is that one there because that is the tomb slab of Anne Boleyn's mother. Let's go have a look. And the inscription on this broken stone reads, here lieth the Lady Elizabeth Howard, sometime Countess of Wiltshire. There is no date, but we know that she died in April 1538. These are some of the other black marble tombs in here. 1610, 1768, 1784, 1715, 1786 and 1768 again. All the other black tomb slabs I see like that seem to be from the 1600s or the 1700s really. So is there something wrong with the fact that this tomb is stated to be of the time? Something just makes me think that that tomb is later. And now seeing Sir Thomas Boleyn's tomb in Hever, also I think that's later. Did someone come along later and inscribe their names in St Mary at Lambeth and also in Hever? I'm gonna try and find out. Is that tomb later, after she died? <laughs> 